Good morning. It's Jill from Moon Gap Acres. Today I am going to make a instant pot cheesecake. It'll be a dense cheesecake, more of a New York style, one of my favorites. And I'm going to be using three of my favorite small kitchen appliances. So we have the Vitamix and we have a dry container on the Vitamix. We'll be using that to ground up our graham crackers. And then we have our KitchenAid mixer. We'll be using that to mix up our batter for the cheesecake. And then the Instant Pot, in which we'll be using that to actually bake our cheesecake. Cheesecake in an Instant Pot, it's really, really good. So we're gonna get started by making our crust. Okay, to make our crust, we are going to need about 10 sheets of graham crackers. So I'm going to put these in the Vitamix. It's going to be really loud and we're going to start mashing these up. Okay, once you have all of your graham cracker crushed, I like to make it really fine, then you can start making your crust. So there's different ways to do the crust. You can actually uh, freeze it or bake it, but I prefer the bake method. It makes a crisper crust. So we have preset the oven to 325 degrees. Okay, so what we have is our graham crackers. We have four tablespoons of melted butter. So I've already melted that in the microwave. I'm gonna add that. I have one fourth cup of flour, all purpose flour. This is really only for the baking method. So we're gonna add that. You don't need it for the freeze method. We have two teaspoons of brown sugar for a little sweetness to the crust. And we're just gonna blend all of that up. You could also add a pinch of salt here. Um, the butter that I'm using is salted, so I didn't think I needed to add any more. So keep blending your crust. Once your crust is blended, you can add it to your pan. I have a springform pan. It's seven inches. It's small enough to fit in the Instant Pot. And I've lined it with parchment paper. So I cut it around the hole and then I, or for the circle, and then I cover the sides with parchment paper. This will help so that your cheesecake does not stick to the pan. We can add our crust. I like a lot of crust in my cheesecake so that it comes up a little bit along the sides. So add that and then you're just gonna press it in. You can use a cup, I use my hands. I promise they're clean. Press that into the pan, add a little more. So I have enough to come up along the sides a little bit. Okay, so that's all pressed in to the pan. I'm going to put it in the oven and bake it on 325 for 15 minutes. A 
Okay, while well, our crust is baking, we're gonna go ahead and make our batter for the cheesecake. So all of your ingredients should be at room temperature. You're gonna have your uh, Philadelphia cream cheese. We have farm fresh eggs, which were already at room temperature. And we have sour cream that's going in the mix. So I'll walk you through each ingredient as we go. We're gonna start off with the um, cream cheese. So we need two blocks of cream cheese. We'll put the exact measurements of everything in the description. So you'll add that to your bowl. And here's your other one. First thing we're gonna do is cream the cream cheese with our sugar. We have two thirds cup of white sugar. Okay, now that we've creamed together our cream cheese and our sugar, I'm gonna add the other ingredients. Our crust also finished, so I have that behind me ready to add the batter to it. I always like to put a little lemon zest in mine. It just gives a really fresh flavor to it. So I'm gonna add that. We have our lemon zest in there. Now we're gonna add our eggs. We have three farm fresh eggs right from Moon Gap Bakers. Two. And three. Okay, we also have some cornstarch. This is um, two tablespoons of cornstarch. <clears throat> vanilla extract. This is two teaspoons vanilla extract. A pinch of sea salt. And that enhances the flavor a little bit. And then we have a half cup of sour cream, and this is at room temperature. Okay, I'm gonna put this back on the KitchenAid mixer, get it all blended up, and then we'll be ready to add it to our crust. Okay, our batter is mixed. We just finished that, and we're gonna add it to our graham cracker crust. Just make sure you scrape the sides of your bowl really well when you're doing, when you're using your mixer, and so that you can minimize any lumps. Okay, our cheesecake is ready mixed. I'll show you how we start the Instant Pot and get that ready. Okay, we are ready to put our cheesecake in the Instant Pot. So the first thing we need to do is add water to the bottom of the pot. So you'll need at least one cup. And then you'll need to put your cheesecake on a stand and your Instant Pot probably came with something that looks like this. So place that in the bottom of the pot. And then I created a, a foil sling. So aluminum foil, long piece of aluminum foil folded, and then put that under your cheesecake and that will help you lift it um, to place it into your pot. And then when it's done to lift it out. Once you lower it in, you'll just want to fold your sling over your cheesecake and put your top on. Make sure your pressure is pointed towards seal. And then we put it on manual 30 minutes. So as soon as you have it set, you have it set to 30 minutes, it will start in about a minute and start to seal. It will pressure cook for 30 minutes and then you'll have your cheesecake and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Okay, our cheesecake just came out of the Instant Pot. As you can see, it's got a real thick crust that came up all around the edges. I'm really happy with that. And it just came out, so it's gonna need some time to chill. 
and you need at least four hours in the refrigerator, if not overnight. I prefer to do it overnight, but I wanted to make this cheesecake as a surprise for a birthday later today, so I'm limited on time, but we still have enough time to do five or six hours in the refrigerator. That'll help um, make it a little more dense, and then we will top it. So what are your favorite toppings? We like to do berries or a dulce de leche with pecans. That's some of our favorite things to put on our cheesecake. Okay, guys, here is our finished Instant Pot Cheesecake. It's a pretty hot day here, so we decided to cool things off with a little Cool Whip and some berries on top. There's some cherries and blueberries and strawberries. And I've got it in a different dish. We are about to take it out to a friend's house for a birthday party. But thank you so much for watching the show. I hope you liked it. Be sure to subscribe to our channel, Moon Gap Acres, where we live a fresh family farm life. Thank you.